Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I'm going to code a simple program to calculate an individual's body mass index or BMI for short. So I'm currently on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So if you're going to code along with me, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, where a new tab will open up for you, and then eventually a new cell. Also, if you like this video, then please click that Like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that Subscribe button as well. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put in some comments about the program. So I'm going to put in a description, which will kind of explain what the program is about. So this program uses Python to calculate an individual's body mass index and actually I'm going to make those all capital so body mass index all right so that's BMI for short okay so body mass index or BMI is a value derived from the mass and height of a person and the BMI is a convenient rule of thumb used to broadly categorize a person as underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese based on tissue mass and height. So a common use of the BMI is to assess how far an individual's body weight departs from what is normal for a person's height. And overweight and obese individuals are at an increased risk for some diseases like sleep apnea, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, uh, stroke, infertility, and the list definitely goes on. So I'm going to leave a link to some BMI articles in the description below so you guys can check that out. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button here in the top left. And here what I'm going to do is, or what we're going to do, we're going to get the individual's input. So I want their their weight and let's see I want their weight in pounds and their height in inches. Okay? So let's create a variable called weight and set it equal to float and then we're going to ask for the input but of course the weight could be a float right so that's why we're going to cast this as a float and I'm going to put here please enter your weight in pounds okay and then I want to get the height of the individual so I'm going to create a variable called height and set it equal to float and let's go ahead and ask the user for their input. So I'm going to put here, please enter your height in inches. OK. So I think that looks good. We can go ahead and just run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. All right, so let's give it some time. There we go. So here we have some input right so we say please enter your weight in pounds so I'm going to put my weight at 185 pounds and next it asks me to please enter my height please enter your height in inches so I am let's say 70 inches alright so there we go that's good let's create a new cell and now in this cell I want to calculate the individuals oh, and I misspelled input up here so I'm going to put a T there I want to calculate the individuals BMI right so their body mass index so I can use a simple formula to do this I just need to get a few variables so uh, we already have the weight we already have the height so now I need to know the height squared. So I'm going to create a variable called h2 and set it equal to the height times the height. 
and we already have our W from the BMI formula so that's just the weight and now with that information I can use the formula BMI equals W divided by H2 times 703 so the formula that I'm using is the one used for for US units so here I'm just gonna put calculate the BMI of an individual in US units using the BMI formula alright so let's go ahead and run this cell alright let's go ahead and create a new cell so here I want to show the individuals individuals uh, BMI so I'm just going to print your BMI or your body mass index BMI is and I'm gonna put BMI alright which we calculated here so let's go ahead and run this cell and I can see that my body mass index given those parameters that I put in for my weight and my height it gives me a BMI of 26.54 rounding right so I'm not going to see all the rest of the numbers here so that's good let's go ahead and create a new cell and now we need to know the results of the BMI so here we're going to print the individuals results based on the commonly used BMI ranges in North America and Europe for I'm gonna put for individuals age 21 and up okay so here we will print if that individual is underweight normal weight or overweight etc right so first thing I want to do is I'm going to check to see if the information that the user or the individual put in is correct so we can do that by checking if the BMI is greater than zero and if it is then we will continue with uh, with getting back the results for the individual else I'm going to print the information that you put in is incorrect okay so let's go back to that if statement so here if BMI is less than 16 then we're going to print you are I'll make that a capital Y you are severely underweight all right else if BMI is 16 or or between 16 and 17 so BMI is less than 17 in this case then I'm going to print you are moderately underweight else if BMI is less than 18.5 but seven uh, so basically if it's between 17 and less than 18.5 then I'm going to print you are underweight else if BMI is less than uh, 25 what did I say before 18.5 right so we have 18.5 so 25 is the next um, check so we're going to print you are healthy else if BMI is less than 30 I'm going to print you are overweight 
else if BMI is less than 35. I'm going to print you are moderately you are moderately obese. Else if BMI is less than or equal to 40, then I'm going to print you are severely obese. Else if BMI is greater than 40, then, then I'm going to print you are morbidly obese. Okay? So there we go. Let's go ahead and let's run this cell. Let's figure out what I am. So you are overweight, right? And that's true because my BMI was 26.54. And 26.54 is greater than uh, 25 here, but it's also uh, less than 30, right? So, so that's why I am uh, overweight here. So you are overweight. All right, let's go ahead and create a new cell and thank you for watching the video so despite the unquestionable association between BMI defined obesity and mortality please remember that BMI is just a rule of thumb BMI does have some flaws as it is an indirect measure of body fat the BMI calculation does not account for other important details about an individual like their sex or their age or bone structure and fat distribution. Again, BMI uses just two numbers, a person's weight divided by their height squared. So thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. If you would like to become a supporter of this channel or get the code in this video, then I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.